Jackie, you grew up in Australia playing football, so you're used to the heat, but uh, how tough was it on Saturday at Port Vale? Yeah, it's been a good, a good five or six years since I've played in that kind of heat. Um, obviously with 11 men, it, it was a, a physically taxing game. I thought we were, we were doing quite well and I thought the goals were going to come. And then the change happened and, and it, was, yeah, it was tough with 10 men, but um, I'm proud of the way the, the boys dug in and, and got the result. Yeah, it was a real collective effort, wasn't it? Because it was swelteringly hot, a big pitch as we've talked about, but uh, real determination to uh, at least come away with something. Yeah, when, when, it, when it got to that stage, um, we knew exactly what was, what was going to be required of us. And, and to be fair, every, every single player to a man stood up and, and, and did what we needed to do. And back to back clean sheets as a defender, I'm sure you're very proud of that. Yeah, um, as, a, as a team, the clean sheets don't come without everyone um, doing what they need to do. It, it starts from the front, the strikers work tirelessly to, to help us, and we, we did a lot of work with that in the off season. Um, and you know, back to back clean sheets is, is positive, and we want as many as we can get. And it's another game unbeaten. Obviously, ideally, you want to win every game, but that's not going to be possible. So it's an unbeaten start of the season, and it goes into last season as well, which I'm sure you've been made aware of. So it's a good solid base. Yeah, 100%. If, if, you, if you can't win the game, you don't lose the game. So obviously we want to win, but considering the circumstances, I think to come away from there with the point, it's, it was a positive point um, and we want to start getting more wins on the board now. On Saturday, you started in the wing back position, which is, is where you've sort of started your Wanderers career. Switched to a back four for the St. Dalton Moment, orthodox left back. You sort of have a few strings to your bow because I know you can play centre back as well, of course. Yeah, and I, I like to think I can play anywhere along that um, that left hand side. Um, played a lot more in, in a back four the last couple of years, so, um, so I was comfortable going back to to left back there. Um, but when I get the chance to play to play wing back in in this formation, it, it's something I really enjoy as well. You look well settled here. Do you feel well settled on and off the pitch? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm finally starting to, to feel nice and comfortable. Um, just moved into to a house as well, so I'll give my, myself some some real a real base. Um, and obviously the the environment that, that the club's created for me as well, it's made it easy. Yeah, back at home tomorrow night against Morecambe. You've had your first taste of home. Tremendous performance against Wickham Man against Salford. Uh, must, must feel easy playing at home, but <laughs> is it nice to be back tomorrow night? Yeah, um, I, I really do look forward to, to playing here at the stadium. Um, the surface that, that the ground staff's provided for us and, and the atmosphere that the home, the home crowd creates for us as well. It, it's a nice place to play. They've sort of raised the expectation levels and at home, the home form's been superb. Morecambe won't make it easy, of course, but it goes without saying that uh, you'll be desperate to get that win under your belts. Absolutely, yeah. We, we want to go into every game thinking that we can win the game and, and tomorrow's no different. And if you do win it, again, very early days, but that is a nice solid start. The points just start to rack up and, uh, and you move forward in a good place. Exactly, yeah, but uh, you can't look at, at the table um, of what might happen next week without getting the three points on the board. So we'll, we'll have a look at the table after that, but it's still early days. We know what we want to do and, and we're going to strive to do that. Yeah, there are some big games coming up, but as you say, you've got to stay focused on, uh, on, on what is equally an important game on Tuesday. 100% it's one game at a time. There's no point looking forward to, to the next games after that. Um, we've got a job to do tomorrow and, and it's only after that, that that we can look forward. Just lastly on that, the manager's lots of options at his disposal. He's going to need them. August is an incredibly busy month. Winning in the Cup has added to that, of course, but uh, is that reassuring to know that You've got lots of good bodies around you? Yeah, I, I think one of the boys said today we've still got five games this month mm. and it's already halfway through the month. So that just shows how, how busy it is with the Saturday, Tuesdays. Um, but with the depth in the squad that we have, it, it's really, really important that you know everyone's ready to, to come on and, and impact the game, whether they're starting or, or on the bench. And I think so far this season, you've seen that it doesn't matter who's playing, you're going to get a, a similar standard out of, of everyone.